morning, Howard and Kemp. Thanks for joining me here this morning. Uh, yesterday, we were upstairs in our entry-level rooms. You got to see what we could do for, you know, entry-level money. And now we're in our statement room. Total, we are scratching right around the $2 million mark for, for the entire system. Okay, well, that's a lot of money. <laughs> we're, we're expecting some good sound for that kind of money. A little bit more than what you heard yesterday. If we start with the speakers, this is the Borson M3. It's the one step down from the top. We have the M6 that is above it. Uh, that has a list price of 550000 a pair. These are $280,000 a pair. Okay. Um, can you just tell us briefly um, about the drivers? I know you guys use proprietary drivers. You make them, correct? We make all our drivers ourselves. Just like you saw on the X-Series yesterday, we make them also here. Much more sophisticated woofers. Also the same rip and plane tweeter, but it has much better magnet systems uh, than what you saw on the X-Series. They're kind of easy load to run. They're, you're not going to have problems. Even with two amplifiers, you're not going to have problems with these speakers. Okay. What we are hooking them up with is all our gold signature reference and SUS uh, gold reference cables. Okay. And, w and once again, for people who haven't seen the other video, you guys have three or four companies under one umbrella, right? Yes, we have the four companies, the ANSUS, AVIC, Burson, and Access. Okay. And ANSUS, as you said, ANSUS are the, the cables, cables and accessories. Right. So if we continue with the ANSUS products, you will see on the bottom, we have our mains eight gold signature. That is our power distribution bar. It's okay. an eight outlet. That has a list price of $64,000. Okay. Continue over to the right. The next box you will see on the right on the bottom will be our gold, ref, the gold signature uh, power box. And that's feeding all the active circuits in the cables and also in the, cable, in the speakers. To your right, you will see uh, our Ethernet switch, the gold signature. Okay. They look beautiful. And then you move up to the AVIC, that's the electronics. Okay. And these are our 880 series. We have four components here today. On the top, we have our... C880, which is our preamplifier. Okay. To your right of that, we have the SD880, which is our streamer with the built-in DAC. And then on the, the middle shelf, we have two stereo amps, the P880s, and and because we're biamping the M3s. And as far as the amplifiers, uh, can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, they're pure class A, but they're non-switching. And we have 250 watts in 8 ohm, 500 into 4, 900 and some into 2, and it's stable down to 1 ohm. I think they stay in class A all the way and okay. don't run hot. How do you do that? That's the trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, typically, for the for Class A, for that kind of power, you're going to be frying eggs. What about the racks here? The racks are the answers racks. Um, we also make those. It's all about performance in here. So it's titanium legs. Each shelf is a composite material. They sit on four of our darks uh, resonator uh, controllers. And uh, each one of those are like 1,500. So you have six grand between the shelf and the frame on each shelf. Okay. So, well, so this is probably uh, close to a $40,000 rack. And it's side. modular. Right? It's modular, yeah. yeah. So I, I noticed on top of the, um, so the streamer and the um, preamplifier, there's a kind of, look, I thought it was a handle at first. It's called a resonator. So what it deals with is the mechanical resonance that the chassis will make, okay. and it pretty much eliminates it. It's a quite dramatic improvement. So we have those, even on a solidly built like this with an eight millimeter copper uh, chassis, you still have mechanical resonance that you're gonna deal with. And you have, there's also, uh, we'll call them pucks or, or, or discs on top of the, some of the boxes on the bottom on, on the, the networking box and um, on the power distributor. What, what, what are those? Th those are our darks also, and, and they do a similar uh, fashion of what the resonator does, not to the same extent, but um, where well, you don't have room for a Resonator, you can put the, the darks in the corner. What are the pricing on those? On the pucks? Yeah. Those are, I believe, the Z2s, and they're 4000 each. The resonator on top is a zirconium, which is $7,500 each. Okay. If you remember, there was one evening at a, at a show or something where we, yeah. we were listening to the system, and it was at the price point, it was pretty impressive. And then you put those pucks on there, and I, we, just, we just all couldn't believe it. No, it's, it's, it's not subtle what it does. It's not subtle at all. No, no. I understand that... Uh, there's someone else here we can speak to briefly. Lars, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, you're one of the company's founders, right? Yeah. Tell us why you founded this company. We founded it because, you know, I have had quite a few jobs for other companies. Okay. So we decided, Michael and I, to leave Nordost, and that uh, Michael worked there as well. And that's now more than 12 years ago. So Michael and I have actually been in the speaker industry for nearly 30 years. Okay. Before that time, I was actually a high-end audio retailer for 
also 20 years, and my dad was one of the first in Denmark. So Lars, what can you tell us, uh, just a few additional highlights about the system perhaps? Yeah, you had a few questions for, uh, when it comes to uh, how can we keep uh, an m or any fuel class A never switching, and we have the P880. Normally you have two ways of doing class A, you have the single end, which is typical tube amps, and they're running few, a few uh, hundred percent uh, full current the whole time, and that's why you know they stick to 20 watts or 30 watts, and that means that they, they, they can't do more than that. Then you have, of course, the other class A, which is typical of what, what you have out there called the push-pull class A, and that's typical. They're nominated for 50 watts, um, and they stay class A into 50 watts, but when they same when you have a transient, they, they are more or less all of them changing from class A to class B. When you have it, a transient like this, they go into class B automatically right. Right. because they don't have that kind of current available. But they're also running very warm. Ah, sorry, uh, hot. That's yeah, more than a precise word for it. Yeah. So it's where, uh, you know, the group of people like, uh, I'm a lucky person because I have some of the best uh, guys around me in form of Michael Burson and Fleming Eric Grassman and former Griffin, and, but also the guys uh, on the floor are the most skilled people we can find. I, I was very surprised, you mentioned Fleming, I was very surprised to hear that he had, in a good way, to, um, he, had, he had joined your team, which is pretty amazing. What, what is he contributing? Fleming is an artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you see on the Griffin stuff, I, I, right. I think there's still some of the most beautiful stuff out there. Uh, but uh, it's a combination of, 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 of uh, Fleming and Michael, it's very unusual. They are a dream team because we have the artist side to one side, the guy who knows more or less everything which you have to know about electronics and mechanics and about materials. And that's uh, the first part they created is actually the integrated amp in the 880s, so it looked very similar to the preamplifier. Uh, so that's uh, the first part these two, these two guys uh, did. <laughs> but it's typical, you see uh, Fleming slides <laughs> design in it, but you also know when you see, as uh, Peter was saying, we have the copper chassis, eight, eight millimeter, and copper sounds good. And the skin is titanium. So I was saying, this is maybe the most expensive cabinet ever made. So Fleming's uh, DNA is spreading out in everything we do. <laughs> we have also to be loyal to ourselves. A person has to still look like a person. Uh, we, we don't want to... Uh, copy Griffin. Yeah, we also talking about the streamer DAC. Um, it's a continuum DAC. So what does that mean? Yeah, and normally most is using different kind of ladder DACs to get rid of all the uh, mistakes the ladder DAC is doing. So we don't have a ladder DAC. We have a continuum DAC. Did you do anything special to market a two million dollar system? That's the pressure we have on us. If we disappoint you one day. People lose faith in us. They don't trust us in the same way. So we have uh, some of the guys buying these things. Of course, they buy because they can. But if you disappoint them one single time, be out. So that's a pre heavy pressure we have on us when we introduce a system like this. It has to perform beautiful. Sir, well, we heard on the thirty, forty thousand dollar price point. Yeah. I'd be interested to see what you guys can do with the two million dollar <laughs> yeah. price point. Yeah, we couldn't make the X speakers without having been doing these babies. Okay, well, let's, yeah. let's listen to it. Anything to gaze upon What happened to liberty And the bridges we almost got done What happened to that Was going to take us home 